Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosie and today I wanted to do something super fun and that was create a mood board for what I want to achieve throughout summer. I thought it would be a really cool idea to sit down and like think about what I wanted to do, what I wanted to achieve. Yeah, if basically it's how can I make summer the best I possibly can do especially as the last two summers were not ideal shall we say obviously I still do need to be careful in terms of corona virus and stuff like that because I am immunosuppressed so I do need to still take that into consideration but I'm hoping to make it a fun summer with lots of fun experiences. I think that's really something that's really important to me. So throughout in this video we're going to uh, you're going to come with me as we make a mood board. I will explain to you why everything's on my mood board and yeah, I just I hope you enjoy and maybe it'll give you some ideas for how you can make your summer fun so i'm just making the the header now and <laughs> i didn't really know what to call this so that's why i came up with the sort of basic you know summer mood board 2022 um and i thought what i really wanted to do was have a nice font that <laughs> really said like summer inspiration if that makes sense but it took me a while to actually figure out how to change the the font I was having a bit of a moment I if I do say so myself <laughs> but I I really like that that made me like feel really summery of looking at that I mean it kind of reminded me a bit of Pinterest, not gonna lie, like the stuff I see on Pinterest, that's probably where I got my inspiration from. Don't really know why I'm explaining to you for a minute about uh, a font. <laughs> but here I was kind of deciding how I wanted to do this mood board. And so what I did was I ended up kind of splitting it into two sections. So there were two different mood boards per se. And one of them has a you know personal development section which i thought was really useful a way to divide it so these are all the things that are like directly in like impact me and my like general well-being and stuff so i really just wanted to have all of the goals sort of related in that way some of them don't really relate to personal development but most of them do and I ended up putting it in the middle because it reminded me of you know when you do like um spider diagrams in school and I thought it would be fun to have everything like centered around the middle of it so here we are now and we're actually adding stuff so the first one I'm going to be adding is um to learn new skills and so what I mean by this is I want to be able to develop something, whether that be a craft hobby or, you know, learn a language or just something to keep my mind occupied while I have not that much to do. I always like to learn new things because I feel like it's it really does keep your brain stimulated and everything. Yeah, that's about why that one's there. The next one is a picture of a graduation cap because at the end of summer, I am going to graduate uni. So I've finished all my coursework. June is my results day, so fingers crossed for that. And then that will become, yeah, September 3rd, I graduate. The next one is be active. And this is so goodness for my joints and everything. That's why I've, that, I've also put a picture of someone swimming because swimming... Let me just pause a second <laughs> because swimming is really good for arthritis and so I just want to make sure that 
I, you know, make a conscious effort to go more because it's, you know, like I said, really good for that and just being generally more active because I feel like that will really help me feel better mentally because, oh, you know, you'll get all the endorphins and stuff from exercise. It'll make my body feel stronger and hopefully long term it will make me uh, a little bit thinner so my joints don't have as much weight to bear that's my goals for being active really and I really want to focus on that as well this summer while I don't have any other things to really worry about the next picture coming up is just general health I kind of want to build up my health generally as in I want to do you know x exercise well not extra exercise but things that will really benefit me so whether it be like i said um the exercise better sleeping habits eat better you know food uh i'm trying to tailor that at the moment for best things inflammation and basically just cohesively i want to come out of summer feeling so much better than i do going into it that's my goal um i just i just don't like feeling unwell all the time and i'm hoping that that will you know be something that i can really focus on when i don't have the pressure of anything like um essays or deadlines or anything like that the next one is so this is clarinet i am actually a grade two at clarinet and that's where I got to when I left off for uni so I just want to take that up again because it was something fun and this one is I do want to learn how to sew properly because I've been watching sew and be again and it always sparks my inspiration but it is more of a generalized craft because craft makes me happy and it's something I can do when I don't feel great in myself so I just wanted to add those two hobbies there that I already have existing that I want to develop and put more time and effort into and I literally could not decide where I wanted this um title bit to go it's I don't know why I keep moving it it doesn't change very much the next one is a new job this is I want to look for things I can use my history degree in or something that you know the next field of stuff up once I've graduated I want to have a plan for that so I'm going to develop that over the summer and then so once I have that you know plan for it then great I just am feeling a bit lost at the moment because it's such a big thing to decide you know what's next the next one is supposed to represent my current work I want to pick up more hours and stuff where I can do um because that'll keep me occupied through the time that I have until I graduate and then I have more options on what I can do once I've actually officially graduated and left uni so that's a really good stopgap if you get what I mean I, I enjoy where I work so it's not really a stop gap per se but yeah this one isn't really personal development but it stands for decorate my room my room is making me feel a bit old because this this room hasn't been decorated for of quite a while so I'd love to be able to give it a new lick of paint over the summer I mean I don't have anything else to do so I might as well you know on top of all these other things obviously I think it would make me feel happier if this place like my, that I spent a lot of time in had you know rejuvenated if that makes sense the next one is reading and I'm gonna set myself a goal uh, like a reading a reading challenge I like to do that to myself it's left over from when I used to do the summer reading challenge as a kid I like having a reading challenge over the summer and I set myself like prompts and stuff so that will be i hope that will be fun i hope i can stick to that because i don't always stick to it because there's like no deadline and stuff but i'm gonna hope so i want to get through that bookshelf that is all like tbr bookshelves so i want to kind of you know get through them and not have so many unread books in my room and a reading challenge over the summer is the best way to do that I kind of put myself like on a book buying ban until 
until yeah so this next one is generally just be happy i know that's so silly but like just just to say oh this is what i want for personal development over the summer but i just kind of want to feel good you know to feel good in myself and just be not be more positive that's not what i mean but i, I want to wake up every morning and knowing that you know i'm happy with what i'm doing i'm happy in my health i'm happy with what i've got and everything i just want to i just want to not feel anxious and sad because to be honest with you that's how i felt a lot of the time because of things um i'm just adding here new language because i've got to get a picture of it and i didn't really know how to represent learning a language on here because i mean i could choose the flag but i haven't decided um which one that i wanted to do and also then i didn't know where to put it because it looked funny because um yeah it just looks funny <laughs> Because the rest of the stuff is all pictures and everything, so it's like, oh, where, where do I put this, like, one bit of typing, you know, like, what do I do with this? Who knows? But, I mean, I'm quite happy with this. This is the full finished um, summer development one, and here I am struggling to copy and paste um i don't use my tablet very often to do things so i was kind of like you know i just i don't use android stuff very often um i should use it more to be honest with you but i i just forget i have it to be honest with you so it sits on my desk and well not desk but they i you i bought it for uni basically um to highlight stuff on the pdf files that they have which is really helpful so highly recommend that if you do a lot of reading um for your uni course but yeah i i was struggling this now is the next slide next mood board this is i kept the same title because i thought it looked like you know branding and everything but this section is activities and i've called it activities and summer fun don't ask me why I decided to call it summer fun I that's a bit cringy but it's there now it, it's been put into the world that energy's there so we're just gonna deal with that energy you know <laughs> um and then I was trying to find where I put all the pictures and I could not so there there they are I I have this is like my first time using this site application as well it's called Canva if anyone's wondering so this one is because I'm gonna be 21 in June and so I'm gonna be having a 21st birthday party oh, obviously a 21st birthday and like I want to turn the whole week into like stuff to do for celebrations this Shrek cake represents the fact that I want to have a Shrek themed 21st birthday party for my friends I'm a bit worried that people won't come but I mean, I get to dress up as a gingerbread man. So I just wanted to, you know, Mongo from Shrek 2. So I just wanted to, you know, put that energy onto this mood board. It's very important to have a Shrek 21st because Shrek was also 21 in March. So just saying, nobody celebrated for him, did they? This is a beach. Um, technically, technically it is Bournemouth Beach. Bournemouth Beach has a very special place in my heart for two reasons. One, my great nan, her ashes were sent off the pier there. So it's, that's, you know, sentimental. And also because I think in between year 12 and year 13, me and a group of my friends went there um, for like a beach day and it was so much fun and I had just have such good memories of that and it was such a vibe and it was like before a load of difficult things happened in my life so it's something that summer is something that I always look back on and be like that's amazing so I have I chose that beach because it it has a very good meaning to me but also I just didn't want to just put British beaches because like 
I wanted a specific sand one, but you don't always get sand beaches with British beaches. You get like some of them pebble and stuff, and those are not a vibe. I didn't want to go to one of those. Um, but yeah, I haven't been to a beach since then, really. I'm pretty sure. Well, I did go to a beach in the, like New Year this year, but it was a pebble beach, so doesn't really count. South Sea does not count. Uh. But yeah, I really want to go there. I want to have a beach day. I want it to be such a vibe. And I want to, you know, have a suntan and feel nice. This one is Edinburgh. Um, nice picture of Edinburgh Castle, you know. I'm going there on holiday this May. So I'm very excited for that. So excited to see all the historical places, all the cultural places. I'm excited to go to somewhere that I've never been before. I've never been to Scotland. So I'm so happy. Um, I was meant to go there, like, before COVID happened, in, well, in, in the 2020 summer holidays, but obviously COVID happened, then supposed to go there uh, last year, but my ankle could not walk in August, so couldn't go, um, which is a bit sad, but is what it is now really, isn't it? And the next picture is of Marazione, that is in Cornwall, for if you don't know, and that is where St. Michael's Mount is, and we're going there as well so nice fun things to do in Cornwall that's why that's there just you know holiday stuff this little guy uh is little people represents spending time with my friends I really just want to see my friends as much as possible and that's going to be challenging for me because I need to work up the courage to ask people to do things and not be scared off by things but I'm hoping to spend as much time as possible with my friends over the summer you know whatever's possible this one represents oxford because i want to go back to oxford for a couple of reasons um one i don't feel like i got to, to see everything in oxford that i wanted to when i was staying there and i have my you know uni accommodation is there till august so the end of august so you know i want to take advantage of that if i can do and i also want to see my uni friends at least one more time before we all you know leave oxford and go on to our you know next lives and everything um one to celebrate the fact that we got through uni that's why oxford's on here but you know that's pretty easy to do um i think my boyfriend will come up and do some stuff in oxford with me too so it's there it's easy it's within driving distance uh, so we can do lots of day trips there easy so next up uh these are just two general pictures so something that always screams summer to me is visiting summer like gardens that are on like old english estates and stuff they're so fun and they are such a vibe like just to walk around and experience all the nature and stuff i just i really like visiting them Sometimes you get a bit of history as well. Most of the time you're just there for like the plants and nature and you know, you can have a cute little picnic and stuff. So it's really fun. This one is more specifically Kew Gardens. Haven't been there for a long time and I kind of just want to see it because I don't remember going. Well, I do remember going, but I don't remember it very well. So yeah, I want to kind of maybe go there if I can. So this one is Hampton Court. Hampton Court is my favourite historical place in this country uh, for the history but it's also on here for just general historical sites so I want to go to Hampton Court but also here I love heritage sites uh, obviously if you can tell by the fact that I do a history degree so there's that and the next one this is a place where I live and I just love going there and seeing the sunset with my friends and stuff you know having a picnic in the evening it's such a vibe in the summer and i just want to go there at least once because it's so pretty and beautiful and stunning and yeah it, it maybe it's such a mood booster just going and watching the sunset this guy on here for zoos i i love zoos i i would say that they're a special interest of mine I love seeing the animals and seeing things that you don't get to see and I like to, you know, donate and stuff to them. This picture is of my dog. I just want to take him out for walks um, in my local area to see nature, get outside, do something that I haven't been able to do for a year 
because I love being outside in the sun. So any excuse. And next one is picnic. Uh, there are quite a few sites around where I live that are really nice to go and have a picnic on, you know, evening picnics, day picnics, you know, wherever I can drag people out to will be fun. Especially some of the sites, so beautiful in the summer. So yeah. The next one is an aquarium. I have not been to an aquarium for quite a while and I just love seeing the little fishies and the other animals, especially the seals. And I have, I've been missing seals, so I really want to go to an aquarium this summer and hope, hopefully I will do. This one symbolised road trips places. I've never been on a road trip with my friends really. I mean, I have been on like one or two, but I like to go and visit places with my friends on road trips and stuff, so that that would be fun. Um, yeah, I don't know where it's to specifically, but I guess it would just be fun just to go out driving, to be honest, well, you know, like late at night is a vibe in the summer. We're just listening to music, chilling, talking, you know, that'll be fun. I don't know what I'm going on about, to be honest with you. I keep moving all the pictures around because it's annoying me, but it is what it is. The next one, these are the Instax mini cameras. I love taking photos, especially Polaroids. So I want to make sure that I have lots of those over the summer because I I just, I love them. They're such a vibe and I, I count how many times I say vibe in this video, but I just, I just love them because I think they're such a cute way to add like personality and everything. The next ones I'm adding are just sort of like more generalized activities. So that one stands for uh, pottery painting. I love going pottery and painting, like, you know, paint your own pottery in places with friends and family. And I would like to go to some of the new ones. Uh, this one is Thought Park. Um, I want to go to an amusement park then. So I'm just like reducing these because they're all in my way and I have no idea what's going on. And so which one are we moving next? We're still working with all park. Okay, so yeah, I haven't been to uh, a theme park since I went on a trip. This one is mini golf. I've fallen in love with mini golf over the course of being at uni because um, junkyard golf in Oxford is so much fun. And I would really like to do an outdoor one, but either way, I'd love to go to junkyard golf again because I just have so much fun there. I've been there three times and I am, and that's in the space of, well, two years, two, twice, two of them being in the same year. Maybe it's not that much, maybe it is, I have no idea, but yeah. So the next one is just eating out. That's to combat my, you know, fear of eating out. And that one is bowling. I love bowling. I went bowling at the beginning of this year and I rediscovered my um, passion for it, if that's what you want to call it. I mean, I just like to think it's a fun thing to do with friends. And, you know, these are just representing like the various random little things you do. So like, for example, we have an arcade where we live and that's really fun to do. You know, the cinema, I did have a picture of the cinema, but I obviously didn't put it on here. And, yeah okay so now i'm just giving you an overview so yeah i'm really happy with the personal developments they're all just about you know improving my health and my mental well-being keeping myself occupied where i can and this one is you know about making summer as fun as possible i want to do as, as much as possible you know go places that i can do within reason I want to spend as much time with my friends and families because I have been, to be honest with you, I've been so lonely because, um, you know, my disability has been so isolating. So if I can do as much as possible with my friends, then I'll be, I'll be really happy. And so the summer is really important to me to sort of meet up with people, you know, have experiences with people and hopefully i can get all of it checked off to make me happier and everything um i just want some of this summer to be something that i can look back on and remember fondly because i i'm gonna be honest with you i haven't had a good experience for the past two years you know 
so yeah so yeah to to reflect on that that was my mood board and i'm hoping that i can get as much of these as possible i think i'm going to get it printed off and stick it on my pin board to have something to look or up and be like yeah i'm motivated to do that i really want to do that so yeah i mean it, hopefully it should be a fun summer i mean i've got two holidays to look forward to I've got my 21st birthday to look forward to and then in between those you know in that time hopefully i can you know do as much work as possible you know see as many people and go as many places as possible and yeah hopefully hopefully i can just have a lot of fun but i'm a bit i'm a bit nervous i summer makes me really apprehensive because the last like i said before the last two summers have been awful and i just really want this one to be a happy memory and everything so thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed this video please leave a thumbs up comment down below any suggestions you have for future videos and i hope to see you in the next one bye for now guys